Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today it's going to be the fourth video of the series where I teach you guys React as a beginner course and I'm going to start right after my last video so you can see that we have everything we had on the last video and on this video I'm going to be talking about props and how you can basically customize any component in a React application. So as you guys can remember, we created a, a component called Hello YouTube which just literally returns, like renders a div with the name Hello YouTube and a button called button. But I want to change this a bit. This was just for demonstration. And I want to create actually an H1. So let's imagine like this. What I'm thinking we're gonna make is basically a, a card where there's going to be a person's name, a person's email, and a person's uh, like a person's first name, a person's last name, and a person's email. And we want to render a comp like a different component each time, but we want to change the values for the names, the values for the the uh, last name, and the value for the email, right? So in this card, we want to add here first name. We want to add last name and email. So last name and email. But the thing is, if I render this right now, you guys can see that everything will change here. So when we refresh, you can see that everything will be updated here and we'll have basically a, a three cards, like no, four cards. And each of those have like, as for a first name, a last name and an email. However, if we just establish the, the name right here, like if I put my name here, and when we refresh here, you can see that like the first name Pedro appears on every one of them. But now we want to customize it. We want to make it different for each card. So I'm also going to add a break here. So so we can like kind of see, no, I'm a, a BR, a HR. So we can kind of like see what the difference between each card. So you see like, now we have four, four of them, right? So how do you customize it? Basically, we will use something called props. And props is a short name for properties. Basically, when I call a component in our app.js class, I can, for example, uh, give a, create a prop like called first name and give it a value, so like Pedro. And now only this component will have this prop. But in order to define the prop, we need to go to the original component, so the hello YouTube, and up here, you basically open and close uh, curly braces and write whatever variables you want to pass down from the parent component, so like from the class you're calling this function, and I'll just create some, one of them is going to be first name, the other is going to be last name, and the other is going to be email, right? So now we can use this prop right here and let me change this to first name. Let me change this to last name. And let me change this to email. And you can see that for now, nothing happens. And the reason why is that we never passed any component. And if we go to the app.js, you can see I already set the first name to be equal to Pedro. My last name, I'm going to make it equal to my last name. So. Machado and let me give an email. I'm not going to put my real email, but equals to, I don't know, something at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay. So let's save this and you can see that only on the first card the values have changed. So in the first one, my name is Pedro, the last name is Machado, and this is my email. So I can do this to literally every one of these components. So I'll copy and paste it here. Let me save it. And let me change this to like Jerry uh, Smith and nothing. You'll see that now we have two different cards with different values. And this is basically how you work with props. You can do it how many times you want. You can even pass functions and states, which is something we're gonna teach in, the, in, the, in probably the next video. But this is a really important topic in React and I hope you guys learned it. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I see you guys later.